Hey guys, it's RJ. We got a double bottle review, but both bottles are stags, so let's see what we can do for this video. So, we have our 22A. We picked this up in a trade. Uh, this guy, I want to say we traded a bottle of Jack Daniels Twice Barrel Rye Heritage Special Edition for this. And we also got a Smoke Wagon Red, White, and Blue as a kicker, so it was a two-for-one trade. Uh, that bottle at Jack Daniels, the secondary price kind of dropped, so it was harder to trade that bottle. So for this one, we also traded a Jack Daniels Rye Twice Barrel Heritage. Yeah, we got two of them uh, for a stag, but it was a one-to-one -one trade, so no kicker on this one. So we got the 22B. Uh, this one has not been opened, so we're going to try to open this one. And of course, the part I need to open is like recessed into the lip of the bottle. Oh, I can't get it. This is embarrassing, guys. We'll fix the frame. All right, we got a pin. Pin will do the trick. Get up underneath this lip. There we go. It has a pull tab, but the pull tab is recessed and we couldn't grab it. So, don't need our pin no more. Got our little foil. A little foil topper. I like to keep these intact. These are cool. And fresh pop. Ooh, nice quick pop. And that is on our 22B. So, pour this up. We'll let it sit there too, because we gotta talk about these a little bit, so it won't just be a fresh pour without letting it air a little bit. So, 22, let's start with a 22A actually, since that was our first bottle we got. This one is 66.1% alcohol, 132.2 proof. And the 22B is a 65 percenter at 130 proof. So this is a little bit hotter. This is not. But both are stag. Both are like phenomenal. Uh, I want to say like the age statement on these isn't like super known. But I want to say it's between six and eight years. These are made from Buffalo Trace Distillery. Uh, they are a, like a lower end version of George T. Stag from the BTAC collection. Now, Stag, when it was first coming out, in batches 1 through 17, um, right here on that second G, there would be little letters that would say Junior. Neither one of these have that anymore. So once we hit batch 18, which is the first ball I have, it's up there on the shelf. They dropped the junior and it's just stag. So we're no longer hunting stag junior, we're hunting stag. 22, 22A and 22B comparison. We were going to do this video with our buddy. Uh, our schedules just don't line up and I don't see a near future on when we'll be able to shoot a video together. Uh, hopefully sooner than later though. I'll still have him do a comparison. We'll make another video on this comparison. We'll revisit this topic. But for me, we're gonna go ahead and do this right now and see what we think. That also give us time to, to air out a little bit too before he tries it. So, let's start with our 22A. These are hot, high proofers. So, if you're not a high proofer, you go ahead and click off this video right now because this is for high proof whiskey and high proofers only. Strong medicinal cherry. You know, all the, all the notes that Adam says from Major Zero that whiskey has, you know, caramel, vanilla, uh, it's all the same to him apparently, but the stag he does say he enjoys and I, I help a bottle of stag compared to a, a bottle of scotch and he actually picked the stag over scotch. So let's see what he thinks when I start trying 22A and 22B for him. Wow. Even though they're high proofers, like the burn is like non-existent. As long as you've warmed up your palate and you're not taking like full on swigs or shots of this. Just a small amount on the tongue gets that flavor. This is like one of those that you would sip over time. You're not going to sit there and try to down an entire bottle. Uh, this is a few months for this. Uh, my buddy, on the other hand, he has a bottle of, I believe, the same batch or maybe one batch higher, 23A. He's already finished the bottle in like less than a month. Like I'm trying to, to make these last a little bit longer than that because they're fantastic. So that's why we went ahead and opened up a second one so we can bounce back and forth till we even them out. But wow, cherry flavor comes through. It's got the burn. But the burn is very mild. Like it's it's just sweet. It's good. It's warm. It'd be great on like a winter day. Hmm. Let's clean our palate again. 
Just water in this glass, not vodka, guys. Mmm. <laughs> the smell is like just almost non existent compared to that stag. Like that one, the smells come out, but this one's like a couple proof points lower, but it's, it's a lot more subtle. Wow, it's got like this strange wood texture that comes off of it. The wood profile on this one comes through, but this one it doesn't. It still has cherry, it still has like the vanilla flavor to it, but it's got like, this weird tang to it. Huh. Oh no. I hope that's not from the cork. I'm gonna see if we can get this in camera and focus. There's something floating in our bottle. This is awful, I didn't notice this. Where'd it go? Let me see if I can find it. Oh, I don't know if I can get this to focus. Oh, well, there we go. You see that, guys? I'll put an arrow on screen, too, if I can't get it with my finger. Oh, we got it. There's, like, something floating in our bottle of stag. Oh, I hope that's not the cork. It doesn't taste like cork rock, but it... it it's got like a wood chip floating on our stag. What do you guys recommend? Should I like strain this through something so we can try to collect that? Maybe like a coffee filter? Like, I can't believe that there's something floating in our stag. Our cork looks to be intact, but like, oh, I see. On our stopper, there's like this little glue mark. So maybe it's something from that floating in it. That's awful, man. I hope that doesn't ruin the flavor of it. Now I'm bummed. I should have checked that when I did the trade, like, it was sealed too and everything, like, who would have thought? I mean, it's still good, it's still stag, but like, wow, I just can't believe I noticed that. There's literally something floating in our stag, it looks like a piece of wood. Maybe, maybe the villain Major Zero, Adam from Major Zero, has, uh, Ruined one of our bottles of stack. <laughs> we'll have to see if we can correct that. We'll have to strain that out and see if we can fix that. Uh, overall, guys, though, 22A, 22B, they're both stacked. They're both fantastic. 22A is going to have to take it for me, though. Uh, not because of the whole floating like piece of wood or cork, whatever this is, but um, just the flavor on this. Like it's super like pronounced without having this weird like wood flavor, this weird tang that comes across. So. Ooh. Starting to sweat from all the stag, guys. Start picking up more stag. I don't know if I'm going to be able to keep up with you guys. I'm going to be sweating all the time. But if you guys haven't tried a bottle of stag and you see one, these go for around $68 MSRP. Uh, $200 would be about what I'd pay for any of the newer ones on secondary. And then some of the like higher ones to get, like the older batches, can go up from $225 to $300. I would stay around that 200 to 225 range, especially if you're trading. If you're buying it, try to get it for under 200. Uh, these are fantastic bottles, but I don't know if I would pay more than 200. So if you guys like Stag, comment down below the batches that you've had and what you thought about them and which one's your favorite. This is RJ the Fed. We're signing out. This was our double bottle Stag review.